Hello and welcome here on Random Rotation. I hope you're all doing well. Today I have just a quick and dirty After Effects plugin software tutorial kind of video for you. Ready? Let's go. Let's say you are working on an After Effects composition for a client of yours. And a huge part of that project consists of text layers, such like this one here. Let me place it right in the middle, like so. All right, you're happy. You think it looks good and your client is also happy, but the only thing he struggles with is it could be a little bit more noticeable. All right, so you start to build some shape layers that go along with your text layers. And that's it, everybody's happy. So you now have a good reference and you can start working on 10, 20, 40, maybe 50 more text layers, okay? And for every text layer, you also have to create one of these shape layers, otherwise your frame is gone. Guess what? That quickly becomes very, very confusing. I mean, you now have 50 times two plus one background layer. That makes it 101 layers for something that looks like such an easy After Effects composition. And now you proudly present your work to the client. He still is very happy, it looks fantastic. But of course he needs you to change something. Nothing problematic, just a couple of text changes. The new text should be random rotation. So far, so good. You changed the text, you realigned it, but whoops, caps lock here. But now you realize that you have to change the shape layers as well. Now you go through all of them and resize the shapes accordingly, which works, but it's a pain. And on top of that, it's not even looking really good. Look, look here, it, 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 it's looking stretched somehow. So there has to be a better way, right? Let's delete the whole shape layer. Now we're left with only the text. And on that layer, I add an effect from plugin everything called text border. This one effect can really save us from headaches. For real, I mean, you now can delete 50 of your layers and all you have to do is dial in the settings that you like, like so. I can resize it, for example, or bring back those rounded corners. I can um, change the color here to something bluish, like so. Nice. What else can we do? We can um, work with a color ramp, for example. First color, second color. I, I don't really like color ramps that much, to be honest. We also have some dash options here. And if we like, we could animate the offset here because yes, every single parameter here can be keyframed. Like we all know it from After Effects already. Here we have some transform options, rotation, scale, stuff like that. Super easy to understand super easy to use. And the best thing is now text changes are as easy as they should have been in the first place. The border just follows the text. No ugly stretching, no nothing, just it, it just works. And I can really appreciate tools like these. Tools that really help me speed up my workflow, tools that simplify my workflow. And this is where you can get it, aescripts.com. It is by plugin everything. Shout out to those guys, really good job. And if you want to try it out for yourself, the link is in the video description down below. All right, my friends, that is it for today. I really like that tool. I think it's super neat. If you want to try it out for yourself, link is in the video description. Of course it is. <laughs> Other than that, thanks for watching. Leave me your thumbs up if you like. If you don't like, then 
Why are you still watching? <laughs> Bye for now.